Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Skeleton Farm here on Farming Simulator 17. So today we are continuing with, actually not the last video, it's actually the live stream. So last Monday if you guys are in the uh, the live stream, we're carrying on from that. What's your, what's your face buddy? You through? Hello, there he is. Alright, get this around the corner. So as you can see, we are driving a truck first of all. Now it all became clear very, very soon. Go through this beautiful village. This is honestly one of the best villages I've ever seen in Farming Simulator. And there's a little road that pops up from nowhere right here because the road's closed. So we have to take a detour. Um, let's go down this way. Do I have my beacon lights on? Yes, I do now. I can see it reflecting off that house. So, um, yeah, become clear what we're doing. In fact, you probably already know because you probably saw it on the thumbnail. But um, we're just heading down towards our field now. We've got some bells ready to be collected. Um, so we are renting this truck off a friend. So our friend's a contractor. So we're renting this off him. Look at that sunflower field. Might have to come up here and do that at some point. Um, let's go around here. What's that? Is that like a little forestry storage area? That's pretty neat. I haven't seen that before. Right, is this our entrance? No, that's the... Uh, I don't know what that is. Can't remember what the name of it is, but that's what it is. I think it's where we sell straw, maybe? All right, let's head down here. So it's quite a bit of a drive. But hope you guys are well. Welcome. So it's currently... Monday, I believe, uh, which means it may not. This video may not be Monday. Maybe Tuesday. I don't tend to upload videos on the day that I'm streaming because it will take. Um, if I when I stream, it will take you guys' attention away from the video. Um, yeah, I can see the field from here. It's right up there. Look, see the bills. That is what we're doing today. Get them off before it starts raining. Don't want to go and mouldy. It's our first batch of the year. All right, there's quite a pretty sharp turning coming up. If I can remember where it is. Ooh, there it is. The brakes are pretty sharp on this truck. Right, we need to come out a bit wide. Um, so I'm not used to driving this truck just yet. Now, if you're wondering why I'm driving like an idiot, and um, this is actually a really long, rigid body. Um, in fact, I think this might be off the mod hub. Don't quote me on that. I think I've got this in game mod hub. If not, it'll be on mod hoster. And this is our field tier. So let's turn in as best as we can without tapping any of the walls. Once again, this isn't our truck. We need four wheel drive to get up this hill. There we go, we made it. See in the mirror there? Not a scratch. Um, let's park this thing here for now, I think. Awesome. I'll quickly get out and show you around. Let's get the four-wheel drive off a minute. So here's the field. Here's the bales. Looking very nice, ready to be collected. It's just straw. Uh, there was barley in here, which we have in storage. We haven't sold it just yet. And here's the truck. So it's a rigid body. Um, really neat little thing, this. It's got the uh, the overcab bale. Let's get that beacon light off a minute. See, it's going to be here for a while. There we go. So yeah, we've got the overcab. i just turn the lights on. What an idiot. Is that better? Are you finally ready to go? Good. Uh, so yeah, we've got the overcab uh, placement as well. What would you call that? Not really storage, is it? It's like a, a platform or something like that. i got a sneeze coming. Okay, so here is our bale fork. As you can see, we're not using the curve fab. For the first time ever on Farming Simulator 17, I will not be using the curve fab on a Let's Play. So we're actually using our oldest tractor on the farm right here. Not the fence. Not the New Holland. Yes, the Ford. This is the Ford 7840. Uh, this is the Pedral Reskin. Looks pretty good. It looks very, very worn. This is a definitely a hand-me-down tractor. Second-hand hand-me-down tractor, maybe. Um, let your imagination run for wild what this could be. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into her. We'll see what she's like. I think the inside's pretty much the same. Uh, we've got Tartan Seat, which is interesting. And of course, we have the uh, Ford on the front there as well. All right, let's get this thing lifted up. Hydraulics are still working, which is good. So what happens when you maintain your tractors? Alright, we want to get this bucket put... Where should we store our buckets? So for now, we're just going to put it here. Because I've not really made up my mind. In fact, no, I'll change, change my mind again. Oh, I don't have reverse on this thing yet. Because we're using uh, Gearbox mod on Oakfield, I've not actually remapped drive control. Because I'm an idiot. I knew there was something I was needed to remap. That was terrible simulate. What's going on here? I made a right pig's mess of this. Well, finally we're in. Let's go ahead and get this leveled out. As you see, the bucket's pretty brand new. It's clean and, well, it's not been used for a long, long time. Let's get that disconnected. Put her into reverse here real quick. And we'll get the, the fork hooked up, shall we? Which is right here. Cool. We'll reverse into this shed first, I think. It's going to be easier. Get that lowered. And positioned as best as we can. And that'll do it. So now what we need to do is head to the field and uh, make a start on collecting. Okay, so we've just approached the field right now. As you see, the uh, truck's still here. Good, that's been stolen. Uh, right, let's get that beacon light turned off here just so it doesn't 
annoy us too much. And we'll make a start collecting these bells. So I'm a bit rusty when it comes to uh, doing singular bales. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. There's no like, extenders that we could have bought for this bell fork. We're doing this. Well, this series is going to be pretty ghetto, to say the least. We're using old equipment, all that good stuff. We are going to be using a third person, though. This isn't our realistic series, so if we need third person, we'll use it. All right, let's see how well we do We're in our first bale. First one's always easiest, I find. So when you try and stack them up neatly, it goes a little bit messy. So there's our first one. Let's go ahead and start loading up the truck. So obviously, I usually, if you watch my videos before, watch me stacking, you know, I like to stack three and then put them on the trailer. Can't do it with this fork, unfortunately, so we're literally doing one at a time. Right, so anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. So this is going out on, like I said, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. Um, let's get that lifted up a minute. I'm getting a lot of requests about um, the Black Sheep modding diggers. Don't worry, I will be using them at some point. I've just not really thought of a way I can implement them just yet on the current stages we are in the Let's Plays. But I will be doing it. Maybe we'll resurrect Dodgy Declan for a few series. Who knows? Who knows? So you look pretty cool, though. Right, let's get that. Load it on if we can here. Like so. That is going to be doing. This is going to be the... F I just realised this is going to be the first time on video that you guys have seen me use a manual bail fork. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This bail fork does have auto-load script. Like, you can stack one bail onto it if you want. Um, we haven't got it turned on yet, though. We'll see... We'll see how long it takes us to rage quit. I didn't mean to do that. Let's get that into reverse a minute. As you can see on the side there, it does have auto-load script, but we're not using it yet. I say yet in bold letters because, like I said, we may still rage quit. Who knows? That's not straight, I don't think. Not straight enough for me and my OCD. So we'll try that again. Get off. This thing does have weird collisions, it seems. So there you go. That's what I was talking about. Um, stop. So as I was talking about, um, in fact, did I put reverse on here? No, I didn't. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, as we were talking about reverse, uh, auto load, I messed up. So there we go, there's a bit of evidence for you. Right, that's a bit better. Let's get this one lifted up into the air. Let's slow down forward. As you can tell, this tractor is pretty old, so the brakes aren't the best on this thing. Wait a minute, are they moving? We weren't that far away a minute ago. Let me just see if the uh, the truck's sliding around a minute. Right, yeah, I think the truck is slowly sliding down the hill, which is interesting, because if you guys saw my last video where we were actually were harvesting this field, the grain trader was sliding as well. So maybe it's an issue with the field, not the actual equipment. Something I didn't really think about. All right, let's get that unloaded real quick. Um, put it into reverse. Stay on. Stay on. Yes. There we go. Um, let's find another bell here real quick. We're on a good roll so far. We're doing alright because this is completely manual. Um, there's the forks. Let's go ahead and lower them down like this. Is that going to do her? Possibly. Yeah, that's alright. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Well, actually, I want to run to this side, I think.
Right, Kiridi, so we have now finished loading these bells. Now, I did skip a couple of them, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, but there's a reason for it, because I remembered we have to use the auto... Not auto stack, but, you know, when you press X and it all cleans it, and there's a reason for that. Because if we jump out and press N, this actually has a nice little feature, this little uh, truck, if you guys haven't seen it before. So if we press N, we've actually got a cover on our bells, which doesn't look very British, I would admit. doesn't look very British, but um, it's pretty interesting, so I thought we'd use it anyway. Let's get our beacon lights on as we head to our farm. So yeah, that's the main reason that I wanted to, at the end, use the uh, auto stacks thing. Just to make them all neat so we can put the cover on. It didn't look weird. Um, can we get around that corner there? Yeah, we're through. We are through. Yes. Um, not sure we're restoring these just yet, to be completely honest. Not actually seen a good storage place for this. So we're going to have to little have a little drive around and see what we can find. Where's the entrance? Up here. You can always tell because the dirt's in the middle of the road. Here we go. Now, this is going to require a different method, I think, to get the truck in. The tractors are fine, because most of them are on dollies. Um, well, not the tractors itself, but the trailers we take in are on dollies. But this one here, we need a different approach. We're going to actually go down there. We're going to reverse. And now we can get an easy peasy. See what I did there? Hopefully, we can actually get in now. There we go. Now, where are we going to store these now? Hmm. So let's have a little walk around before we do that. We'll keep the engine running here. Let's see where's a good place to store our bales. Right, I think I found a, lo a good location. Uh, some of you guys probably won't like it, but uh, it'd be nice and accessible for us to get in and stuff. So I like it. I think we're going to uh, gonna roll with it. There's that shed over there, which is a little bit too low for my liking. So we're going to go in this... In fact, I think they're the same size. So that's actually in the actual cow shed. So we're going to all that. In the cow field, sorry. So what we're going to do is put these... Oh. Right, okay, so I decided we're actually going to go with that shed. It, although we can't fit it in with the truck. Once again, I don't think we're going to use this truck today. I was just being experimental. Decided that it's not actual, not actually feasible for a British map. So we're going to store them in here for now. And then we're going to move them to that shed. Just so we can get the top layer off. And then we'll do it, you know, manually. So I think it's Y to unload. There we go. Now, I didn't think one thing through. But the cover doesn't automatically come off, which is strange. Um, how are we going to get out of here? <laughs> That's what I didn't think through. Right, so on to our next job. We are now in the New Holland TM... I forgot the number. What's the number? 190 this one is. There we go. New Holland TM 190. Um, I would argue that it looks a little bit FS11, maybe FS13, but I love the actual track doing real life. So That's why I've decided to look past this once. Uh, so what we're doing right now is collecting our cultivator and taking it up to the field we've just came from. So now it's all clear. We can start... Replanting and all that good stuff. So our cultivator is right about here. And we're not going to bother plowing this time round. Because it's a bit of a, a weird shaped field. Um, for some reason. Oh, that's because we got that on. Alright, yeah. Let's get this all hooked up. There we go. Beacon lights on before we forget. Put her into a ver uh, forward even. And we'll head back down to that field. So yeah, it's not going too well today. To be honest, it's not going too well today. I was just experimenting with the truck, basically. And I decided that we're probably never going to use it again. Because it's a little bit too tall. And it turns pretty bad. So it's actually really good for, like, big maps. So, like, Oakfield, I think, would actually fit. Small maps. This, like, Skelton, for example. And, uh, Naysville. Probably not the best. It probably looks, like, a little bit smaller. So we'll have to look at different options. If you're doing any good bell trailers or bell transport trucks... Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll check it out. All right, cool. So we're back at the field. Let's quickly move the Ford out of the way here. Keep the TM running so uh, it stays nice and warm. Well, warms up because we just turned it on. All right, let's get this thing turned on real quick. We'll get a move to the side of the field, and uh, we'll bring Biddy Bob to come collect this later on. Bring him up as a passenger, and then we should be good to go. Right, let's get it turned off. Awesome. So here we've got a small Massey Ferguson... What number is this? It's 23. Because Massey Ferguson had the tendency of just giving their equipment random numbers back in the day by the look of it. Um, no. I don't think we better do this in... Maybe we can do it in head tracking. Let's close the window. There's going to be a lot of dust from back there. Um, let's get that lowered down. And we'll make a start of this. So we're doing this manually for now. We'll see how we get on. I'm just going to make a straight line. This can be our ruler throughout the rest of the field now. So maybe a little, a little bit wonky at first, but it should even out 
by the end. We should be good. How is it looking? Pretty wonky. Pretty wonky. But uh, well, like I said, this tractor's got no GPS, so we're going to try and do it as realistically as we can. Um, I might do what we did with the harvesting. If you guys didn't see that, what we did is we did the field in two different sections. Worked pretty well. We might try that again. We'll see. We shall see. So, what... I do plan on doing a headland at the end. So I'm going to go right to the very end. Do about there. That should do nicely. Um, let's get this thing thrown into reverse real quick. Come on. Get our beacons off, actually, while we're here. So I often get asked a lot of... Well, not get asked. I get told a lot that I should probably leave my beacons on when I'm in the field. Because one, it breaks bulbs and stuff. And so-and-so's dad leaves them on. Or so-and-so's uncle leaves them on. You get the idea. I just like to turn them off because farm sim's farm sim. It saves a bit of uh, CPU power. Uh, GPU power, sorry. The beacon lights when you've got the reflective beacons on are pretty uh, intense sometimes. They only drop like two or three frames. But two or three frames is two or three frames. How are we doing here? Doing pro well, look at that. Pretty good judgement this time round, but it's only going to get worse as the field goes on, I think. Seems to be the way with me. So I've noticed that this map doesn't have multi-terrain angle, but this is the pre-release, so it may change, but I think this is a console map. That's no, it can't be. It can't be, because there's loads of scripts in it. So I don't know, maybe we'll see multi-terrain angle at some point. Uh, lift up. Reverse. I really need to map reverse out. Okay, so we've done quite a lot now, as you can see. Um, we've got this little bit here to do, which I believe I can squeeze into the headland. Um, but that's pretty much half the field done now. So like I said earlier, I'm going to change directions when we get halfway. So that is probably about now. So now we're going to start going this way. I feel like it'd be a bit more... Um, a bit more convenient, a little bit more efficient. Now I'm going to deliberately leave a bit of... A, well, basically a pass there, so that we can turn around at the end and all that good stuff. And um, we are doing, like I said, the headland at the end, so I don't have to go right up to the edge here either. Because the headland's going to be like a full headland of the whole L-shaped field. But we'll see how we get on. So we'll just trickling through this now. Uh, about there we'll stop. Just not having a reverse button on my shift is really annoying me. Because also, it's the space bar. So it turns on the IC for this tractor, which is a little bit annoying. So whenever I'm in reverse, like now, I can't move the camera around, so... A little bit annoying, but we can live with it for now. I'll just remember to uh, do it afterwards. Let's crack on with our next pass here. So yeah, I do like this tractor. Um, obviously, it's not visually the best tractor ever. I think it needs a new steering wheel for sure. The rest of it's not too bad. Um, maybe I might whip up a specular for the body. and It's not that bad. I've seen worse tractors that have made four FS-17s. But um, yeah, it needs a new steering wheel for sure. And maybe... Oh, where should we stop? About here, I reckon. Yeah, about there. Go up. There we go. So yeah, needs a new steering wheel for sure. Uh, maybe... I don't know. There's something wrong with the body, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, I don't know. Just textureless, I think. I think it needs a texture as opposed to just being like a pastel blue. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. We'll try and spruce it up, shall we? Right, get ready. So we are now just uh, making a start on our headland. Now, we've done the best we could. Um, it's a little bit patchy, but I'm not a real life farmer, unfortunately. So, um, go. My knowledge is uh, pretty much 
used up on this field. We do do it manually. I'm pretty proud of that. As you can see how uh, wonky the lines are here. It's pretty obvious. Um, I'm not very good at going a straight line for some reason. But yeah, there's bits and pieces like here and stuff that I've missed, which I'm not too worried about. Oh, this looks a little bit wider than our actual working width, which is annoying. So yeah, apparently this cut of it is 5 metres, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I used this on the... Remember the Italian map? Di Terra, Di Terra Italica or some, something like that? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember this thing not actually being 5 metres. I think it was like 4.6 or something completely random like that, uh, which is a little bit weird. So what we're going to do here is a little bit not very... Let's lift it up in it. Yeah, not very by the book. We're just going to reverse back a minute. Sage is coming back here. Alright, let's drop her down about there. Put her into forwards. And then power. It's pretty cool that we get the RPMs on this tractor as well, though. We'll go along this top bit of headland here. Just working away there as we go along the uh, top of the field. Beautiful sunset. It's currently 20 past 6 in game. In real life, it's... What time is it in real life? 20 to 9 p.m. So, on Friday. So, I literally just got done recording the Oak Crew video, which hopefully you guys have seen by now. So, I'm a little bit tired now at this point. But, um, yeah, as far as this map goes, the reason we're still doing pretty boring jobs like this is because... Um, did I get that all? Did I get that all? Huh? No, I missed a bit. Dang it. Right, let's go ahead and lift her up. See if we can get this real quick. So yeah, the reason we're doing this is because it's still our starter fields. This is the field we start off with. We're not in a place at the moment on this Let's Play, unfortunately, where um, where we got all the fields to where we want. So basically, we're working on stripping all the fields out. This is the first one that's done now. So this one's now ready to be platted with whatever we want. And uh, yeah, we're slowly getting the map into position where we want. So let me, feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you want to see from this map, whether you want animals, mainly silage, or... I don't know. Let me know. And we'll do this final bit here, look. Is this going to reach? Is this more? Is this going to reach? I think this might be more than five meters. Actually, no. I think we're good. I think we are good. So that is pretty much it. There's a little bit on this corner I just saw here. Yeah, yeah, right here, look. We'll fix this up as we go around. Uh, quickly switch to this side. That was wonky. And I think we're pretty much done. Let's get the headlights on because it's getting a little bit dark. And we're straight out of the gate, maybe, potentially. Are we at the end there? Cool. Let's get it lifted up. Get it folded away. Um, we'll leave the Ford here for now because we might need it in another field. I need to do some more bales off camera in a different field. Um, so yeah, thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy it, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Unfortunately, I still do not know when this map's getting released. Feel free to keep checking the forum. The link will be in the description box below saying WIP forum topic. Make sure you check that and there should be all the information you need there. Um, make sure you hit that bell button if you're already subscribed to me because YouTube's notifications are broken. So that will make sure you get notifications when I upload and stuff. I've been Simulate Gaming. Hit that thumbs up button once again. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, turn. No, no, we're going to crash. We're going to crash.